So nirvana means breathe out. What a relief that was. <laughs> The sigh of relief, let it go, because it'll come back to you if you let it go. But if you don't let it go, you'll just suffocate. person in the state of nirvana is what we might call a blown out person, like blow your mind, <laughs> let go, don't cling, and then you're in the state of nirvana, and I re-emphasize the point, this is not, I, I, I'm not preaching, see, I'm not saying this is what you ought to do, simply pointing out a state of affairs that is so. There's no moralism in this whatsoever. It's simply pointing out like, if you put your hand into the fire, you'll get burned. You can get burned if you want to. It's okay. But if you so happens that you don't want to get burned, and you don't put your hand in the fire. So in the same way, if you don't want to be in a state of anxiety all the time, and again I emphasize, if you'd like to be anxious, it's perfectly all right. If that's, see, Buddhism never hurries anyone on. They say, you've got all eternity through which to live in various forms. And therefore, you, you, you don't have just one life in which you've got to avoid eternal damnation. You can go running around the wheel and the rat race and play that game just as long as you want to, so long as you think it's fun.